Hello, and welcome to the daily number workout for fifth grade. Today is the number 59. So let's do our word form 50. Nine. And since the nine is in the ones place, we know it's an odd number. Let's go on to factors. So the factors are one times 59 and no other factors to 59. So it is prime. Let's go for multiples. We know our multiples for 59 are one times 59 is 59. Let's go ahead and do two times 59. Two times nine is 18, drop the eight, carry the one. Two times five is 10 plus one is 11. So it's 118. Let's do 59 times three. Three times nine is 27, drop the seven, carry the two. Three times five is 15 plus two is 17. So we have 177, 59 times four. Four times nine is 36, drop the six, carry the three. Four times five is 20 plus three is 23. So we have 236, 59 times five. Five times nine is 45, drop the five, carry the four. Five times five is 25 plus four is 29. So we have 295, 59 times six. Six times nine is 54, drop the four, carry the five. Six times five is 30 plus five is 35. So we have 354, 59 times seven. Seven times nine is 63, drop the three, carry the six. Seven times five is 35 plus six is 41, 400. And 13, 59 times eight, eight times nine is 72. Drop the two, carry the seven. Eight times five is 40 plus seven is 47. So we have 472, 59 times nine. Nine times nine is 81, drop the one, carry the eight. Nine times five is 45 plus eight would be 53, 531. And then any number times 10 is that number with a zero in the ones place. Boom, multiples, the first 10 multiples of 59. Moving right on. So let me collect these up real quick. And let's move on to our fractions, decimals and percents. and ratio. <laughs> All right. So let's get with the program here. So we have 59 out of 100 of our daily number workouts done. And since one and 59 are the only factors of 59, 59 does not go into 100 evenly. So we're, we're at our lowest term right there. Our decimal would be zero and 59 hundredths, because we always say the whole number and whatever it ends in is what we're going to say. So this is the hundredths place value. That is equivalent to 59%. And if we were writing it in ratios, we'd be 59 colon 100 or 59 to 100. All these connect and are similar. Here we go. Uh, let's write this fraction out in words. It would be 59 hundredths this decimal would be zero and 59 hundredths 
with the good old THS on the end, because it's just part, not whole. Everything right of the decimal is part of a number, not a whole number. The numbers left of the decimal are whole numbers. All right, let's take the decimal and we're gonna turn it into dollars and cents. So that would be zero dollars and 59 cents. And we would write that zero dollars and 59 cents. Looking good, let's move on to our area and perimeter. <clears throat> this is a very short one today since we only have two factors of the number since it's prime. So let's go ahead and draw that out, it's 59 by one. So our area equals 59 times one, which of course equals 59 square units. Our perimeter of that would be 59 plus one plus 59 plus one equals, well, one plus 59 is 60. So that's 60 plus 60 is 120 units. All right, now if we stand this on head one by 59, then we have one times 59, which equals 59 square units. And that would be a one plus 59 plus one plus 59 equals 120 units. All right, we're moving right along. Let's get to our volume. So I'm gonna draw this again and it's gonna be cubicle. So that's a, a rectangular prism I'm using to represent 59 long by one by one. So this volume would equal 59 by one by one, which equals 59 cubic units. And then we're going to draw it again. This time it's gonna be a one by 59 by one tall. So we have one by 59 by one. So our volume would look like this, one times 59 times one equals 59 cubic units. And last but not least, we're going to have a one by one by 59. So remember, we're just representing with some kind of cubic unit, one by one by 59. So that would be one wide by one deep by 59 tall, which equals 59 cubic units. And we are done. Prime numbers are fast and furious. Have a great day.